Hello my friends, let's talk about Atelier Sophie. The Atelier series of games is a long-running and perpetually obscure series of very casual Japanese RPGs. Different groups of games form a kind of overarching story, while each individual game tends to play out more like a mini-series that stands on its own. And if there's one thing that I loved about these games, it's that they always seem to focus on a young girl with a single, clear goal. To make a ton of money as an alchemist and get disgustingly rich. The capitalism is strong in these teenagers. And as a side note, especially with Atelier Chali, the games are fairly consistent in passing the Bechdel test and writing female voice into the games. But unfortunately, the Atelier games never focus on capitalism for very long, and always find some new value or idea to explore in the course of the journey. For Atelier Sophie, the idea is Aristotle's four causes, and the idea of teleology. Now, anyone who played Atelier Sophie is probably extremely confused at that claim. So let me backtrack a little and explain what I mean. Aristotle loved making taxonomies, lists that would delineate in both simplicity and detail all the factors that we use to bring our abstract notions into concrete ideas. One of the more famous taxonomies is Aristotle's four causes, which are substance, form, function, and teleology, which represents the best possible version of the object, the end to which the object points itself. So let me explain each of the causes very quickly. Substance is easy. What is the object made out of? What is its matter? Form is also simple enough. What is the object's shape? It can range anywhere from simple concrete shapes like triangles or squares to organic shapes like tree-shaped or sword-shaped. Function is simple in concept. What does the object do? A sword cuts, a wheel rolls. But as the shape becomes more complex, the idea of function is harder to pin down. What is the function of a tree? What even is a tree's primary function? And that brings us to teleology. It is the idea of what the object aims at becoming, the perfection of the object. While the ancient Greeks didn't have our formalized idea of evolution, they weren't so blind as to ignore how things tend to grow and improve over time. Especially with human technology, there is always a better sword to forge and a better wheel to reinvent. If the tool can improve, then certainly we will eventually reach the best possible version of that tool. And if something as simple as tools undergoes this process, certainly more complex objects do the same. Certainly more complex objects like trees are just further along this process of constantly improving upon themselves. Atelier Sophie frequently talks about teleology in an extremely direct way, through a metaphor of voice. In a somewhat ham-fisted manner, Oscar, the lovable chubster, claims to literally be able to hear the voices of vegetables. They tell Oscar their physical condition, what they need to become healthy and strong, as well as what they want to become and how they want to be used when they are harvested. The vegetables literally tell Oscar the ends to which they aim, the perfection that they strive for. Sophie, as an alchemist, is in some more intuitive way doing the very same thing Oscar is doing when she performs alchemy. Placta, the magical talking and flying book that was transformed when Placta transferred her soul to that book for some unknown purpose, tells Sophie that the essence of alchemy is hearing the desires of the materials, what they want to become and granting those desires. And Plakta also explains how some naturally talented alchemists can literally hear the material's voices in order to accomplish this, exactly the same way Oscar hears the voices of vegetables. With this short explanation, the game explains exactly everything you need to know about how alchemy works in this world. Alchemists take materials, the substance, and grants them new form new function by listening to the material's teleology. 
the perfection that the materials aim at. But Aristotle's four causes don't just make up how alchemy works in this game, it also defines the plot of Atelier Sophie as well. The main goal in Atelier Sophie, aside from becoming a rich and successful businesswoman, is to find the cauldron of knowledge so that we can turn Plakta back into a human so that she can recover all of her memories. Plakta is a human soul, the symbol of our emotions and our intellect. She inhabits a book, the symbol for knowledge, and we are questing for the Cauldron of Knowledge, a magical item that allows the user to freely know how to take any material, perfectly hear its desire, and create any form and function with perfection, with no prior knowledge or skill necessary. Sophie's story seems pretty straightforward now. Her goal, her teleology, is to become the best possible alchemist someone who effortlessly guides materials to their teleological end. But Plakta's story is more complicated. In the course of helping Plakta get her memories back, Sophie comes up with the idea to give her a new body in the shape of a fully autonomous humanoid puppet. We give Plakta the form of a human, but not the same substance or function. Or perhaps the game means to say that the soul, the psyche, is itself sufficient to constitute the substance or the function of humanity. As we work hard to bring Plakta closer to her humanity with alchemy, the question is inevitably raised. To what end do humans themselves point? What is humanity's telos? Well, honestly, I don't know. In these situations, I try to have some kind of answer ready, some food for thought that we can at least chew on and use as the foundation for something to build on in the future. But I've got nothing. Perhaps as the Atelier series builds on this theme in future games, we can engage with their own attempts to answer this question. Thank you for watching, my friends. It's a bit odd to cover such a smaller game series on the channel recently, so I am glad I took the time for Atelier Sophie. And I know full well that this game is probably not going to match most of your tastes out there, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you did like the episode, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next week, and share the video with your friends. I don't pay anyone to promote the channel, so the only way we can grow is with your help. Thanks again, and as always, stay true.